I'll try to improve my professional attitude. Well, that's very good of you, Doctor. The county offers training for doctors in suspected child abuse and neglect detection. Several of us are going to take that course. We intend to be a lot more cautious around here, Dr. Helgerson. Now, you can get off your high horse, Doctor. I'm taking that course, too. So Daddy was crazy about me and Mommy was jealous. Big deal. What else is new? I've been telling my rotten story for six weeks now, Dr. Sturdeman. I hope you're getting a good book out of all of this. You know, you always ask me how I feel. And you never tell me what you're thinking. Well, what would you like to hear? Your feelings. Like the people at Parents Anonymous. At least they talk to me. Why can't I go back there? Well, now, we have discussed this before, Rowena. Now, you're here by court order. Now, shall we go on? Your mother confronted you sitting on your father's lap in your underwear when you were seven. She suspected sexual foreplay. She became angry. And then Well, the whole thing was really very gross. Daddy's way of handling the scene was to go off on the boat. So he took off for the weekend. Whereupon, darling mama locked me in the closet to punish me. It, it was dark. And cold. into some boxes where the winter clothes were kept. And something ran down my arm. A big rat. Today, Rowena. We'll go on with this on Wednesday. Daddy. Daddy just wanted me to touch him. That's all. Just touch him. Well, we'll get into it next time. Our time is now up. That's the truth, Mommy. That is the truth. He said it wasn't anything bad. He... Why wouldn't she let me out of the closet? <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes, well, you think about that, Rowena, and we'll talk about it next Wednesday. He said it wasn't anything bad, Mommy. Rowena. Rowena. He said that we would talk about it next Wednesday. Could I have uh, more time, a, a little more time, please? Our time is up for today, Rowena. I'll see you next Wednesday. Yes, of course. Just fine. She never made a sound. Um, you okay, Miss Harper? Yes. Fine. Wednesday. Going bye bye, Mary Jane. See, we we can't stay here anymore. It's too dangerous here. And maybe we'll go find Daddy. Should we try and go find Daddy? Would you like that? No, Mr. Williams, Rowena is not here. Now, what is this now? Are we going to be harassed every time Rowena goes to the market? Or possibly takes Mary Jane to the park? I'm sorry to disturb you, Mr. Atherton. But the court ordered continuing supervision. Now, I take that to mean knowing where you and her little girl have gone. If I don't, you should. Now, listen to me, Williams, and listen good. My grandchild is well, and so is my daughter. In two days, this whole matter will be closed. Dr. Sutterman tells me Rowena is making excellent progress, and his recommendation is going to be that all supervision be terminated. One less case for you and your bleeding heart cohorts to use as an excuse to sponge off the taxpayers' money.
This is Dave Williams of Children's Protective Services. Our number is 555-7692. Would you please...